Dr. Fizz here on Economics and E in our Theoretical Physics course. What we're going to do is consider investing one dollar in some incredible interest deal where we get a hundred percent interest which means we get our dollar back after the year. So this is the dollar we invest and this is the interest one hundred percent one dollar and the money we have after one year two dollars. In other words our money has doubled. An even better deal is to compound the interest every six months. So in six months you deserve 50 percent interest since it's half of the year. So what we do after one period of six months we get our dollar, we have our dollar that's safe, and we have the 50 cents that we get for that dollar. But then for the second six months we have one times that, we, that's the money that we have in the bank, we get all that back, plus a half of that which is the interest. So in this case we have interest on interest and we get two dollars and twenty-five cents. See the one-fourth of a dollar to twenty-five cents is a result of interest on interest and we come out ahead. We come out even better if they compound the interest every four months, a third of the year. Then you have your dollar after a third of the year you have one-third the dollar to your credit as interest, that's like 33 cents, and then we apply the same rule for the next period and the next period, and by doing that we get a little bit more. We get two dollars and 37 cents when we compound the interest every one-third year every four months. If we compound the interest every three months, every fourth of the year, then we come out even a little better. We get two dollars and forty-four cents. You can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to want to compound the interest in shorter and shorter time frames. Now by doing the shorter and shorter time frames that's saying that n, how many times we're going to compound per year, is going to be higher. And then when you do that you have to then proportionally so you take the one-fourth or the one-fifth if it's five or one over n if you're going to do n periods. Now in this case the x is going to be equal to one. All right, So we're going to have one over the n and this is our definition of e. e to the x is given by this limit and when you put in one for the x you then get this very very interesting number which is e. Notice that it doesn't repeat. It looks like it might it might repeat here but it doesn't repeat and a number that doesn't repeat like this which, which can't make a ratio uh, we call that an irrational number and furthermore this number cannot come about by solving an algebraic equation with integers so we also call it transcendental. So what is this really doing? It's saying that I'm going to compound your interest moment by moment. I have reduced the time frame infinitesimally going to like zero and then I apply the proportional you know, interest amount which is going to be very very tiny 1 over n but as we get vanishingly small that there is a number, a limit that exists so applying the interest, compounding it, moment by moment that you reach this limiting value of two dollars and seventy, almost seventy-two cents. And that is the number that is E. Very, very nice example from economics.